Seeking the witch. I'd like you to craft something for me. Think you can? So long. The right cabin laid up in Sam's den. Stop going there after I saw me dirty. A wee minute, Witcher. Now, I'm curious something mighty. How is it you were off the same bloody night horse son tried to kill me? It was chance, honest. I was at the brothel. I've witnesses. I don't doubt you found some witnesses, but I do doubt the bit about chance. Know what? Shy conversation this. So much blethering, we've got nowhere. Lad, you have a chat with him. It's simple. I want to know where all son is. I've not betrayed you. Not ever. <laughs> no. No! I know nothing! Help me find Junior. I'm about to send my lads around Horson's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Leave my men, take the water Junior and drag him out of his hidey hole. Win-win situation as I see it. I suspect Junior's hiding at his casino in Gildorf. Either that or near the arena beneath the bits. My lads will be there. Find him. On your mark. 
Let's go then. Let's dance. Beat you half to death. Hey, can you hear me? You alive? Don't finish me. Don't intend to. Who the hell are you? I heard screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? Uh, what's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well... Kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you. I wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. You're in your kin's humble servant. Where's your? Mine's like war. Mutant!
Open up. Pick your men more carefully. Rico blew his cover like a novice. Yeah, he told me. And I told him to leave town. Most likely promised I'd reward you, didn't he? So he said. Take it. What are you offering? See you. Child did not have stick his arse where he don't belong. Now <laughs> the eternal fire. Send you. Aye, he did. Awaiting your word. Let's go. Time's a wasting. You heard them. We're going in. Fuck!
remember, ah. never venture into the bits alone. Always take a part. You look a wee bit pale. worn by a moving door, something behind this wall.
the snowball boogeyman. <laughs> Thanks. Come again. Come on. Ooh. to Junior's joint. I heard, I heard. My lads near came to blows wanting to be the first to tell me. <laughs> Made quite an impression on them. I know, whore son. Wherever he is, he's positively furious. Won't be able to control himself. He'll leave whatever hidey hole he found to lay low in. Can't wait. <laughs> Patience, Witcher. And cheer up. Cleaver pays well for a job well done. Promised a reward, and here it is. More where that came from.
So long. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. My one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A, a delusion. Where, where, where am I? What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. 
Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. I've got... Yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbutt needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbutts? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters, then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Get fresh trout around here. Cheap. What? what? Trout? Touch a trout? <laughs> Get chewed out. <laughs> Understand? It'll give you a right bollock. <laughs> uh, youth these days. Air brained, all of them. Yeah? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. Go. 
What did they want from you? I'm no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Oh, well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagelbud... So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vogelbud's son. He's the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen. But since the hunters pay for every mage revealed to them... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. Boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals of blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. I hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Something I need to do first. Fine. Buy our masks while you're at it. And you should change. Ball attire. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me.
Oh! Watch where you're walking. I'm warning you. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Greetings. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Suspicious to me, tramp. No loitering round here. Someone's in a good mood. So? Nothing. Just, you look good when you're giddy. You get everything? Everything's ready. We can go. Just a shame you didn't dress up like I asked. Really expected me to show up in a lacework collar, ruffles on my trousers? You'd even look great wearing a bustle. Dad, I want to know what that is. For now, you'll just have to survive on bread and witcher. Well then, shall we go?
Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. How could he? With that scrawny harlot! Oh, come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's Hello. a baronet. No Where will I find another no. baronet? Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? You asked for it. Damn. We weren't supposed to draw any attention. What? Nothing happened. Mercy! I've had enough! On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. Can't breathe. <laughs> I'm a Kraken! Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Tris, not what we're here for. No, it's exactly why we're here. Well, Moritz? Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Not in the mood. <laughs> Not in the mood to win. Ah! Pardon me. Gregor, have you seen Durgoff just a moment ago? Oh. Apologies, I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. 
General Voris. Geralt of Rivia, so I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoth, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Economic. Agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man. Like no one else. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret, it won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But, please, trust me, it's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. But don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. In springtime, the road's wet with pain. Yes, darling. Albert Vagelbud? Fume, my sweet. I can be out of Valentino. Oh. Intolerance and superstition have always been a form. <laughs> Society Albert Vagelbud. Do I look like a pathetic buffoon and mummy's boy to you? Well... Wow. Oh, by the gods! Second <laughs> this is in case the first one tricks. Scouts of And then, a colossal zoom! Oh! And, and like nothing! Yes. Nice mask. Rawr. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a black panther. Rawr. Oh, 
my count! Your excursion to Novigrad. We should talk about it. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. An amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? you meet? Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. You turn him down? Is that what you think? He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than as leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mages' escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You're a charismatic leader, simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely entire. 
entirely. Entirely what? Newt. <laughs> Come on, Geralt. Triss, wait. Geralt, coming. Careful. Miracle. At last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Showing. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. Hmm, <laughs> doubt it.
begin to worry. Everything's fine, though you should probably send someone to uh, clean up the garden before any guests wander in there. I'm to send servants to the garden? Yes. I shall see to it, and you must hurry. Everything said? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Glad I can help you collect it. You'll find a good use for it. What happened at the fountain? It was my fault, I know. The, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. Faster. Run, Roach. or white hot tongues. Help! Save me! I'm dying! Nothing doing. Something reeks around here.
calling. Patty Gruber, I'm a bookie. I trust you're here to fight. I'm ready. Hear that? A fight at last! Our champion, Archibald O'Neill, to face Geralt! Fight! <laughs> Your ass today will bite it tomorrow. Best in Novigrad. Who do I gotta fight? You two are the local champions to choose from. Pile Driver and Captain Mortimer of the Temple Guard. And here's your prize. Here's the eternal fire. Greetings. Greetings, Geralt. Listen. So long.
Looking for a rise. You call this living, oh. Witcher? You should come for a rise. What? I'm busy. Yeah. I'll make you weep, Lord! Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion. Georgius George! While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georgius George, the pile driver. May the better man win. And the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. Bailiff's a harsh man. Best not cause huh? trouble at the inn. not what you're called. It matters not where you're from. What matters is if you're prepared to fight Captain Mortimer. Who organizes these fights? Tournaments like this have been held in Skellige, Velen, and Novigrad for ages. Each region has its own champion. Novigrad's is the tailor. Defeat Mortimer, and you'll gain the right to challenge him. Let's do this. Fight!
Geralt of Rivia dethrones Captain Mortimer! Behold your prize, champion! You have earned the honor to challenge Novigrad's champion, Durden the Tailor. You will find him in Far Corners and fight there as well after sundown. Black ones. Economic Witches, good folk, are like necrophages. Vile in appearance and reeking of dead men's blood. It's rotting flesh they truly crave. been expecting you. We're already taking bets. You've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found scrawny. In what world could you possibly defeat me? The newcomer may seem all skin and bones, but remember, he defeated the sergeant to the bloody baron of Velen. This elf's a dick. That been the case with all champions of Novigrad? No. I am the first. Do you know why they call me the Tailor? It began after I gutted some men with these very hands. <sighs> I knew that was going to be a shitty story. Came here to fight the Tailor, so let's do this. Novagraders, one and all, a momentous occurrence. Before us, in just minutes, Geralt of Rivia will face the tailor. Come here, bitch. Uncle Durden wants to sew you a new face. Is 
champion no more. Henceforth, the title belongs to the Drifter. If you've not had your fill of slapabouts just yet, you'll find other eager challengers in Velen and Skellige. <laughs> Our cat lover once led a band of ne'er do wells. They raided elven tombs. I'm certain she has heaps of treasure. Jennifer of Bengerberg told it there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Show me your wares.
so long.
beyond your average mist. Managed to find cover. Almost. Hey, anyone there? Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed. Came straight at me. Bolted back inside, hosped the door and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel. Miguel. I look out, there's the rain, big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. I can try to help. First, though, a couple of questions. Ask a hundred, if you will. Just get me out of here. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. This wraith. The big one. Tell me more. It... it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something.
better. Well, well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. Symbols of a bonding, manifestations of ill will, focused, concentrated, so it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikiel's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Haunted by a penitent, Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks? Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. They sink near the isle. At least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Perhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, 
and come for you. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe, because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Best keep that promise. I ever hear of another ship, even a dinghy, running aground off Elberg. I'll come back here, finish what the penitent started. Understand? But I... I understand. Run, Roach. Let's dance.
Oh, good you here. So, what'll it be? Will you help old Nidus find a black pearl for his wife? I'd like it done already. Humidity's is unkind to my bones. They've started creaking. Let's go. But get ready for them to creak some more. Not likely to find pearls where it's dry. True. But I survived worse during the war. At Ross Rock, we fought waist deep in the swamp and... Ah, wasted my breath. History don't mean a wit to youngsters. Come on, pearl grounds aren't far now. Quite the spring in your step for a man your age. Uh, have you seen me in my prime? Thirty miles a day I did in full dress. This is the place. They say dive down here and you'll see the oyster beds all around. Problem is, not all hold pearls. The black ones are a real rarity. But search long enough and you're sure to find one. Ah, so I'm supposed to do the diving? Well, you see, I've been in the infantry all my life, so I'm not one for water. And my lungs ain't what they used to be, so, uh, yeah. Customer's always right.
Damn it. Splashing must have attracted them. You all right? Uh, nicked in a few places. But if I pull through after sod, I'll survive this too. So, any luck? Black Pearl, just like you wanted. Beautiful. Rare. Like my letter. Well, as Constable Natalis would say, you've earned a medal. Or better yet, a week's leave in a brothel. Coin will be fine. Oh, yes, um, <clears throat> about that. Uh, listen, I, I feel right foolish, but, well, I, I didn't bring any coin with me. Don't try to cheat me. And earn a witch's ire. I'm old, but I'm not stupid. We'll meet in Novigrad. I'll pay you to the last copper. Put soldiers on her.
Show me what you got. Believe it when I tell you. Right here, out at pasture, the she beasts of Unvik come to steal our sheep, so we gotta manage somehow. But enough chatter. My brother awaits. Thanks for the help, stranger. Your gods grant ye health. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. We serve her who is virgin mother and clone. Look what the sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skelliga warriors alone drink in this tavern. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs, like a dog who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? Wait out in the yard then, till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teaching nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in me the barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Ker Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't 
mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Yorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Must be the one the Yars summoned. Hi, Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Ask Mikyo for the details. Interesting man. Definitely more than meets the eye with him. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes. Got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leith. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. So long. Mead, it's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a keg for the road. And fuck off! I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems like guts to pound it into you. Thanks, Yorand. Pounding's always better with a partner. some miserable shits. Stay calm. Get you a healer. No point. Pierce me lung. I'll drown in my own blood or too long. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Yorant. Son of Sigvald. Her lived honorable. Died like a fool. Speak, damn it. They're dead. That's in foreigner's hand. Corey! Crack! Had but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Dunno. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. You lie. You saw who started it. Had to. I'd sooner believe one of our own. Men who know what honor is. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Yarl. 
Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman. That, or fight the whole village, and you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to get leapt during trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. Listen, maybe we can make a deal. They took my things, but... You aren't on the continent. Can't buy me. Not with gold, not with honors. I don't have that much time. Looking for someone and... Couldn't give a sheep's arse. Grab a pickaxe and get working. Tell him you will hit a cave one of these days. Make our escape. Shh. Right here. Come here. Well, what do you want? To help you, Drifter. Know how to escape? Escape? Nah. But there's other ways out. I can ensure Lugas will try you today. You'll be free sooner, or go under the axe. Either way, out today. Go on. Owes me a favor, one of the guards. I can get him to take you to Lugas. Then you can owe me a favor. What do you say? Sounds good. Tell the guard to take you to Lucas. Tell him he does that. Simon will forget what happened at Fearstar. They say every prisoner's got a secret. But you, Simon, seems to me you've got a bundle. Fine, I'll do as you say. Bang, bang! You, Drifter, where'd you get your scars? Rather talk. Shut it! It'll cost you. Scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. How the hell did you know about it? From Simon Brambling. He promised to forget if you take me to see the Jarl. Brambling? More like Simon Lucelet. Ah, fine. Come with me. My line gets back to the times of Uben the Great! This dog ended it! He's gonna die! I pass judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. I don't remember sending for you. 
Wouldn't mind waiting if I had a free year or two. Sadly, I'm in a hurry. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Crocky. What do you see to that? Fought to defend myself, and Jorand. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Ha! Ah, tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me, Eric. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia. I find you guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. Let me pay in installments. Witchers live long. Dare say I'll pay it off eventually. End of the next century or so. I have a better idea. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law! I make the laws here. Go home late, because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Nice gesture, though I'm guessing it doesn't come free. Tell me, Witcher, have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. Got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. Brand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Would you be in if you'd lost your son? Still masking. What do you want? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So be it.
your son. What happened to him? Drowned. Finback tipped the boat he was on. For his first journey into northern waters. Sorry to hear it. She swallowed his body. I'll not bury him. He'll not feast with his ancestors. Take care now. Uh huh.
What do you want? Want to talk to Blue Boy Lugos. <laughs> Hear that? He wants to talk to Lugos. 
What else, Vagrant? Care to plow Freya? Works for me if you can arrange it. I can arrange a knife between your ribs as you sink to the bottom of the bay. Now bugger off! Don't make me hurt you. Got enough trouble as it is. Think you scare me? Scare your old son of Odmore? No one elsewise is the Wolverine! Hey! What's all the hollering? Some stranger wants on the longship. Says he's got business, but, uh, let him pass. If he turns a nuisance, we'll toss him overboard. See you later, Jarlf, son of the Wolverine, or whatever it was. Never jest about me, da. Never! No nightmarish creature man's ever dreamt will crawl out of the cave. Me wife's mom marching up her head. No northern will ever understand the eyes. This is... No, the last time I had a Continental on my ship. No. When I hauled prisoners from Velen to the slave market in Nazar. Now, tell me why you're here. Your father felt you could use a witcher's help, and I owe him a favor, so... Told him not to meddle. Told him I'd manage fine on my own. Maybe that's not entirely true. Cave of Dreams. Supposed to be a dangerous place. Mortally so. But that's my reason for going there. Fine, so be it, I take ya. Old man's like to throw a fit elsewise. Or he's about to go. You ready? We can go. Is it far? Nah, stone's throw. Let's gather the lads and go in. We'll know soon if there's truth to the legends. Girls, these are the best warriors in me crew. They'll come with us. You know Yarulf, called the Wolverine? Good day. And this here's Uv Jabberjaw. Before we head off, will you tell me about this cave? You could at least tell me what we might have to fight. Only you can know that. Elders say in the Cave of Dreams you face your greatest fears. Face what makes you wake up at night, screaming. Something that's already been, will be, or just might be. I do wonder what a monster slayer fears. But we've talked enough, lads. Swords in hand. Let's go! should be. Now's when we eat the herbs. Why would we do that? To go on. To where the nightmares are. So says the legend. And so we will do. Fine. Give him here. Take it. Move. Jarl, eat up. To the last grain. I don't feel no different. How about you, Oof? 
You're asking a mute his opinion. You're feeling it, mate. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears. for a Razorback. That's a blue. A blue? With that short a snout? Carbs have robbed you of your senses. I see you're weary from the battle. Sit with me, son. Have some mead. Be telling your adventures. Thank you, my king. We... I shan't drink with you, old man. And I shan't call you king. Get off that throne while you've still strength in your decrepit bones. Oof. You can talk. Uh, I, I... I... I didn't... But I... Insult me once more, old Jabberjaw. The first time I left you to punish yourself and retain your honor, but now... Now you'll die like a troll and eels will eat your remains. With those they got wings, these here. It's as if they're swimming through the air. Life. You slew him. 
a son who killed his father. Clear my conscience. Let's go. Kill one monster, another crawls out. So it is not. <laughs> My dream. I don't fear nothing. You fear nothing, boy. You! You pissed your trousers when lightning struck the tree by our wall. Three years old. I've shown a hundred times since then that I. You pissed yourself before the whole village. The Yarl son. Ha! Ah, the shame should have punished you. You're a vision, a spectre. A vision of your dog, who you fear, because you know you don't live up to him. You know you disappoint him. I'm a better warrior than he ever was. Who's the better warrior now? Who? Lugos, leave him. He's only a vision true, but it's not proper.
Get up, Garrett. You've paid your debt. You're a free man. Gonna tell your father what you faced in the Cave of Dreams? Of course I will. I've no fear of him, right? It was an honor to fight at your side. Farewell, Garrett.